Hey everyone, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. So today's video is obviously a skin update, but before we get into that, I just want to say that if you are new here, then I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I want to hit a goal of 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2016, so it would mean the world if we could reach that together, and I know we can. I have some exciting content coming up that you definitely do not want to miss out on. So this is the current state of my skin. You know, for the last year or so, my skin has been getting better and better and just being clearer and clearer. And um, now we're back here. And I don't even have the words to explain exactly how I feel. So if you saw my last skin update, you would know that I actually filmed it on September 20th and that was when my skin was beginning to break out again. Now today is October 25th and my skin is definitely at its worst. It's not as bad as it used to be before but it is pretty bad for how it's been lately and for like this entire year. You know, my skin hasn't broken out this badly at all and now we're in October, we're heading into November, it's like literally next week and I'm back here and I'm not very happy about it. I am going to have to put a break and a pause on the acne scar Sunday videos because I really cannot help my acne scars when I'm just forming new ones. And also when my skin is breaking out like this, I can't really put a derma roller on it, I can't be too harsh with it. So since that last skin update video that I posted, I think a few weeks ago, my skin has been progressively getting worse and worse week by week. And this is the worst it has been since then. Um, I feel like a lot of the breakouts have been going down, but new ones have been popping up and not fun whatsoever. My skin itself is like painful. You know, like this area right here is painful. Like the breakouts just hurt, especially on this side. I have some neck acne as well. It's kind of gone away a little bit, but it's still, still there, some chin acne as well. This pimple right here is honestly like so horrible. I really do not like this pimple at all. I hate pimples around the nose area. And I have some temple acne, as you can see. So basically like the lower half of my face, like this and below, is just breakout central right now. It sucks to say the absolute least, but um, I'm trying whatever I can right now to just get it back to it being clear. I will not consider Accutane whatsoever. I am not getting on that drug. I know a lot of people have had success with it, but I also know that it's very dangerous for the body and I don't want to do that to myself at this point right now, but I will get into what I am using and what's kind of helped me mentally um, as well. So if you haven't seen my last update video, go ahead and watch that so you can have a real background story to why my skin is breaking out. But I am still on birth control and spironolactone, or spiro for short. I have been taking it basically every single day and it hasn't helped whatsoever. I'm not for sure if this is just like that period where you get on it and then like your skin flares up and then like eventually it comes it cools back down and like the breakouts go away or if it's just not working for me whatsoever anymore and my body is rejecting it and it's doing me no good. I really don't know. But I know for a fact that I'm not going to stay on Spyro forever. Um, this will probably be my last bottle. I think I have like half a month or so left of Aspiro and if I don't see an improvement in it then I will be dumping it and moving on to other um, solutions or whatever else I can find to help with my skin. So as far as skincare goes, I have uh, stopped using the stuff that you buy at like Walmart, like the cleansers and whatnot. I'm not saying they're bad, I just stopped using them because I have this like block of African black soap that I've had for a while but I haven't really touched that much and I went back to using it. This is what mine looks like. It is from Coastal Sense and it's literally like a block of African black soap and this stuff is pretty amazing. So I put it in this like little container and I keep it open after I'm done using it so it doesn't like get on the shoe or whatever like I let it dry out a little bit then I use it again every morning and every night. 
that has been okay. I mean, I don't really see a huge difference. It does obviously clean my face and I love that. I am still using the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen. It has SPF 30 and I've been using this for a while, but it's been okay. It hasn't like dramatically changed my skin or done any miracles or whatever to my skin. So um, I'm sure once I'm done using this, I'll move on to something else, but we will see. In addition to that, because I've been so desperate to get rid of these breakouts, I did go ahead and buy like a spot treatment for my acne, like a pimple cream or whatever. And I got the Clean Clear Persa Gel and it has 10% benzoyl peroxide in it, benzoyl peroxide. And this is maximum strength. It has been helping out a little bit, but of course it does dry out my skin tremendously. I just basically dot it on the breakouts and then just like leave it on overnight. It hasn't made any breakouts like dramatically, dramatically decrease, but I do see the, the difference as the days go on. So since I have all these breakouts now, I do not feel comfortable leaving my house with that makeup on again. And that makes me so sad to say. To remove my makeup, I've been using the e.l.f. cleansing wipes. They are like this. These are actually my favorite makeup wipes of all time because first of all, they're like super cheap, but also they get the job done. For some reason lately, my eye area has been like burning and stinging when I put certain products on it, um, including the e.l.f. makeup remover wipes. And it's not a pleasant feeling whatsoever. For me, like makeup wipes stinging isn't really too big of a deal, but of course if it's like unbearable, like, like you can't open your eyes or whatever, like that's an issue. But lately my eye area, like my under eye area, like all of this as well as up here have been burning when I put concealer on it. Um, I'm not for sure if it is the particular concealer, I'm referring to the LA Girl Pro Concealer which is like my go-to. I did recently get a new tube of it. I'm not for sure if it's just that tube that's making my skin burn or what, but just it's not a pleasant feeling whatsoever. Other than these products, I haven't been really doing much else. I do want to incorporate um, apple cider vinegar again onto my skin as a toner and use that daily. Maybe that will help as well. I also want to begin taking these apple cider vinegar tablets because I really wanted to like actually drink apple cider vinegar, like diluted obviously, because don't ever try to drink it just like straight up because that will like burn the insides of you. It really is disgusting. It smells like feet and it tastes like horrible stuff, but I want to begin taking these tablets daily. Maybe it'll help as well. One thing I want to add is that I found Organic Olivia's video about how she cleared up her acne. And that video was so eye-opening to me. You guys, I know for a fact that my acne is deeply rooted. And I can only do so much on the outside. It has to do with my hormones. As you know, as you can see, I have acne down here on like the chin area and like the neck area. It has to do with digestion, you know, my cheek area forehead a little bit like for sure for sure like I can feel it my body does not feel great and I know for a fact that I need to take care of things inside in order to actually see a difference on the outside and that it has been the hardest thing to do thus far I know for a fact I need to just like fix what I'm eating it's really hard for me to like control myself and be disciplined with myself when it comes to eating but um I need to do something about it. I also want to get back into exercising and making sure that my, I'm sweating and um, my blood is moving and all that fun stuff. <sighs> I just want to get back to where I was before, but I want to do it in a more healthy, natural way now. And um, for a fact, you guys, like it's time for all of us to stop trying to either mask the issue or stop trying to work on it from the outside in and now work on it from the inside out. People have done it, they've basically gone vegetarian, vegan, or whatever, and they've changed their diets, and um, it's gonna be so hard. It's so hard for me to change my diet, you guys. Like, you know, I love food, um, but I need to change something. My goal right now is to kind of control my eating and to keep it clean until Thanksgiving so I can 
just pig out and eat whatever I want to eat. But right now my skin is a really big issue of mine and I just want to control it and I want it to be healthy again. One thing that I've been trying to keep in mind is that it is a bad skin day, bad skin month, and bad skin week or year, but it is not a bad skin life. And um, I'm not going to live like this forever, so. Also, I'm kind of hesitant to say bad skin because, like, my skin isn't bad. It's just, like, really acne prone. Um, and it can definitely change. It was really hard to, like, film this video because I've just taken, like, ten steps back and I feel really horrible about that. But I trust that you guys will understand and that you guys will support me and also give me your feedback. Your genuine feedback in the comments and whatnot. I will leave links to certain things below that you guys can check out. Um, also be sure to check out my recent videos as well as my videos to come. Definitely stay tuned for those and leave me your feedback down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and for listening. Let me know how your skin is doing and I will see you guys in the next update. Love you guys so much and please take care.